Hey guys, it's Michael Todd about to get run over. <laughs> hey guys, it's Michael Todd. We are obviously at a very busy intersection, so that can only mean one thing. We're back at Mother Tucker's. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get in here, see if we can't find anything for resale or for our collection. We're gonna be joined today by a very special guest. We got here early, we're just waiting on her. Let's see who it's gonna be. We're gonna get in here. Let's do it. Okay guys, here we are on the inside. Again, it is a smaller store, but as you're gonna see, and I'm gonna put a little eye card right up here for you. You can check out the last video. It is chock full of goodies. And you guys, I just wanna give a special shout out to the owners who are here with us today. Both Jason and Tina, they're over here in the corner. There they are. There is Tina and Jason. They are mother tuckers. They are on Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a direct link right down below. So that way you guys can give them a follow on Instagram. And we're trying to convince them to get onto YouTube. So here's hoping. So Jason and Tina, thank you so much yeah. for letting us be in here and filming. It is a great store. It has thank been a you. pleasure to get to talk and get to know you guys a little bit better. And hopefully with everybody's encouragement out there, we're going to see more of them, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. yes. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Alrighty guys. So here we're just going to do a quick little overview so you can kind of get to see the store a little bit better but we do have somebody else here with us oh she's she's talking right now so we're gonna do more of a quick overview Look, right over here see who it is it's Allison from skeleton keys in the closet of Instagram I'm gonna go ahead and I will drop a link down there for Allison let's do it we're gonna follow Allison's. She's got the lead. She's hitting it up already, you guys. I had to go drop off. I had she did. She had so much in her hands. And if you don't know, Allison loves her some Christmas too. So she's getting that. She's getting that Christmas, y'all. Oh, let's see, lots of kitsch. And this is definitely why I wanted to bring Allison here because we have so much kitsch. It's so good. Prices are great. And guess what, you guys? It's like everywhere you turn, you're going to see sale signs without exclusions so far as cash or credit. Now, obviously, a lot of them are going to have price points, so we're going to have to pay attention to that. But I just, I absolutely love this place. I love it more now that I met the owners, truth be told. Like, that just made it even that much more special. All right, let's see what we find. So here we've got a lot of the Christmas. And one thing, oh, you're not gonna get all, I thought you were gonna get all of them. I didn't have enough room for my hands. Oh. You want the snowman. I'm, I'm just, just gonna go too. for the snowman. Allison is snatching up all of the, these are plastic, they are candle holders, because nothing says safety like a flame in plastic. <laughs> but <laughs> I am totally grabbing the snowman. Allison is getting all of the Santas. Kitchtastic. Mm -hmm. So Allison is digging the <laughs> Christmas pudding ice cream cake at 275. I mean, <laughs> the condition is like it's almost brand new. Right. Like closer up, a little discoloration here in the white, but wow. We've seen giant Santa. He is a blow mold. That's probably one of the largest Santa blow molds I've ever seen. Heads, I guess I should say. So yeah, one thing that I love about Mother Tucker's is, is that there's a lot of Christmas. And I knew without doubt, Allison would want to check it out. Look at these giant candles over here. Ooh, look at those. They're big, 75. Not bad at all, especially for a piece that big. What? That's adorable. I love the old Victorian garland here.
We've got more Victorian ornaments down in the cave. Ooh, ooh. Look at that, do you see that deer there in the back? The, that's a mercury glass deer. It's at 20, I think we're gonna need to get that. That is amazing, we're getting it. Look at the little Santa on a donkey. I can't tell if he's got a clay face or not. I'm judging by the hands, I think he does have a clay face. Now the clay faces are typically gonna be your German. And talking about German, here are some German snow babies. These were actually the original snow babies. They were meant to be for like cake, cupcakes, package toppers. So they very much were meant to be disposable, not nearly as big. This is what we see now. Again, we've got another example of a beautiful Victorian era ornament. Love the bubble lights. Got some great things in this cabinet. Okay guys, here he is out of the cabinet. He is in phenomenal condition. Now what you, I don't know, is it? Okay, so he is missing a hind leg. I'm okay with it, truth be told. Interestingly enough, he's made in Germany. Love him, we're getting him. We're gonna take him home. Blah, blah, blah. Look at that ditty. Okay, and what is this again? An Erzgeberg. And a German wooden toys. German wooden, okay, so these aren't, did they make ornaments or is it just these like the toys? These are more like tabletop. Okay. But they are more like decor, so. And this one does have its sticker. Oh, nice. We love an original sticker. That's right. Little squirrel die cut. Mm -hmm. Is he in Japan? He's not marked. Oh. Or USA, maybe. Now, I did catch these out of the corner of my eye. I mean... What? What says Atlantic City? Like oh. some acrylic glittered shell <laughs> salt and pepper shakers? I mean, folks, we know what that's called, don't we? Say it with me. Trash-tastic. And there's pink ones. There's pink ones from Florida. I think we should get the pink ones. Or should we get the yellow ones? Uh, I don't know, the yellow ones are just, well, I'm gonna love them and appreciate them, but because they're souvenir, I'm gonna leave them. Michael, I want to share, I wanna play nice in the sandbox. So if there's anything that I grab that you're like. It's fine. <gasps> oh. Look at, this is, I believe, a Yukago. I, I, oh, it's a bell. No, this is Lefton. Oh, she's missing an eye. Okay, she's still living a productive life. She's $8. We're gonna get her. What I saw was this cute little... I'm one-handed right now. Oh, yeah. look at that. We're going to get it's that different. too. I think it's a... Hmm. So many awesome things, right? Green. Ah. Uh, for 18. It's, you know, the Bulacante. I'm channeling Jocelyn right now. She's telling me not so much, Michael. That's what she's telling me. Because we're seeing... The inclusion or the bubble, if you will, here, semi cloudy bottom. The Bulacante itself isn't entirely controlled, it seems a little sporadic. So, we're gonna leave that one. However, my goodness, <laughs> of course, we're gonna get that. <laughs> That's where I grew up from, Williamsport, like really? Coming Creek Road. Yeah, that's so funny. Now this vendor over here, we've got 20% off. Seeing Christmas. What's in here? 
new in package strawberry flip oh by anarcho <gasps> yeah three dollars we'll get that it's any item ten dollars and up well three dollars is still not bad so we'll get that one i'm kind of one-handed another one yeah Oh my gosh, do you remember these? They're the walnut ones. Oh my gosh, talk about childhood memories. Look at the one little mushroom. Okay, we'll get those too. And what's this? Let me put this over here. I'm seeing Yuletide Novity Tree. Oh, darn it. It seems like we're missing quite a few. I was kind of amped about the owls over here, but such is life. Sugar and creamer nun set, because who doesn't? For what? I don't know. Like, I think they're adorable. As found. Oh, I see. All right guys, so we love seeing a 50% off with a no exception. Oh, here we've got, we've got a lion head marmalade as they have it labeled. So that is um, LG Wright. I'm loving this piece down here. The milk glass with the blue painted. That is stunning. It would be, it's priced at 60, so it would be 30. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that one. I don't know how I feel even paying the 30. Like, I think it's a good deal, especially for a collector. I just don't know reselling if that's right for me. I love this little custard glass children's tea set. That is a darling 11 pieces. Laurel McKee, they've got it priced at 120. Now what did catch my eye over here was this custard glass. Now I do believe that this is Northwood, so it is early 1900s, late, well pardon me, late 1800s, early 1900s. So I'm interested in this. I know we're going crazy. In particular, this one. So there would be, there is going, this will fluoresce when exposed. She's beautiful. I love the rose pattern with like a diamond point here. I'm not overly thrilled. This one's a little too plain. The grapes, I'm not really digging. This one, we're gonna snag up for $10. All right, here we have another vendor. Now this one is 20% off unless marked firm. And what I am seeing is the Fenton Thumbnail Amberina here. Uh, it is priced at 20, however, we're gonna get four off. So it's gonna make it 16. Um, I think that's a fair price. I'm really digging it, obviously, because we are in that fall season. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick this piece up, too. We've got some other interesting things here. We've got our pebble art right here. We've got Sequoia. Sequoia was kind of like a off-brand to Treasure Craft. Ooh, here's some rainbow glass. Nice. Oh, up here we've got some more pebble art with the drama mask. Oh, I'm seeing the whale caddy. How much is that? 30? Mm -hmm. I might have to get that. Is there a sale back there? 20% oh we're gonna get that <laughs> this is a dresser dre, dre, la, la. it's a dress I can't dre, dre, dresser caddy um that's gonna oh not in frame totally gonna go good with the mermaids yes it is um over here look at that one that cutie little angel back there 
That looks like it could be a Holt Howard head. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. Ooh, look at that red, that dark red deer. I think we're going to get that dark red deer too. Why not? Okay, guys, I was actually just walking up front and I did see the little Ross Bro. It's a candy container. It's $10. That's really inexpensive. Oh, he's missing the cigar. <sighs> I'm going to leave him. If he had a cigar, I would do it. Darn it. Ooh, look at this little Viking beauty here. All right, Allison, I'm heading back. Isn't she pretty? Look at that swung. What do we have here? Unusual vase form in L Oh, that's Ellie Smith. Simplicity. <sighs> 59. Darn fair, but not where we want it. Lady. Oh, of course she's getting a pixie. He's playing the symbols. He is. Unusual. I think he's sweating the pun. Y'all. Actually, can we get the red flock deer? Yes. He's very prancy. Ooh. He's very happy. We're gonna get him. And could I have the whale, the dresser caddy? Yay! I love him. He's a keep. He is not a sell, by the way. I mean, isn't he special? Love him. What one? Actually, can I pull out? Those? I've never seen those little figure yeah. out liquor bottles before. Oh, they're from Florida. <laughs> oh, look at that tobacco jar down here. Do you see them? Not quite the Majolica. I have a tendency we're seeing right here. It doesn't seem to prefer the Majolica finish over any of the others. Oh, this looks like a Dreamland alligator letter holder here. Because Dreamland did a lot of the pets. The plush, the sawdust stuffed pets. But they did do some ceramic wear too. You guys, look at this chalkware. Holy moly. Is it tacky? Is it trashy? Is it a little bit of both? Look at the colors on that. Wow. And of course, the glitter. Ooh, here we got some Mary Mushrooms. Is it the full 18 for the salt and pepper shakers? We've got 125 for all four. And for our napkin holder here, 20. Not bad. There probably is still room left. Honestly, on the salt and pepper shakers, as crazy as that may be. But true. Ooh, I see some. Ooh, what is that? Look at this. Okay, so she's double beveled, so we can lay her flat, we can stand her up. Ooh. Whoa. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of creepy. I don't, let's see. Let's not drop, ooh, do you see the owl tray behind it? Okay, okay. The struggle. 39. And there's 20% off. Uh, it's beautiful, but I don't know much about the paperweight market, to be told. So, we're going to leave that for somebody else to pick up. This is kind of cute. It's an acrylic. It is plastic. Mm, like a little tip tray, almost. It is a brand... Oh, it's Otagiri. Not bad. Make a cute little wall hanging. Oh my goodness, look at these two little egg heads. They're 20 for the pair, but we do get 20% off. I don't know, I'm kind of really, they're very PY, aren't they though? No, we just have it made in Japan. I'm not seeing the PY marker. Uh, 14, Ooh. 
I'm gonna risk it and we're gonna get them. Why not? Got all kinds of goodies here. Ooh. 60. That is in, we just recently saw an amber glass. I think it's like an Empoli or an Italian, pardon me. Uh, it's a wine decanter, obviously. Oh, I love the little room freshener. Do you remember these? What were these? Something like Air Wizards or Wizard something or others. How much is that one? It is 20. Mm. Ooh, some Jasperware. This looks like it's a German version. Um, Vater Schaefer, perhaps. It is unmarked. It's $9. Season white. <sighs> I absolutely love this. This is more of my personal aesthetic, my personal vibe. Oh, it's a clear, it's a unfinished back. Hmm. She is pretty though, isn't she? Again, Art Nouveau style. Beautiful piece. So this is what Allison was seeing earlier. I don't know how she's gonna feel about the price, but let's see what she thinks. Hey, look at this one. Allison. She's she's a little pricey. She's, that's the appropriate price. That's the appropriate price, 20% off. But that's one last 12. Do what? Another one that I showed you is 12. Oh, oh. I haven't seen larger ones like that, but if you look up the smaller ones, sometimes the smaller ones can be like 30 to 40. Really? Oh wow. Again, keep your eye out for that sticker, folks. Oh my gosh, I have wanted one of these. Uh, uh, darn it. Oh well. She's in really good condition. Oh, it's, it's a little pansy. It's supposed to be a, uh, like an anthropomorphic. But she's supposed to be a pansy. Oh, it's 30% off. 5, 10, 15. That would make it 35. Hmm. We're just kind of checking stuff out here. Okay, let's, oh, look. Hey, oh my gosh, is this the original box? It is. That's a good price, especially with 30, it's 30% off in here. Ooh, I wonder if this is priced. Oh, I love a little sugar. So we're priced individually ten dollars. That's not that bad, interestingly enough. Wonder what these are. The berry bowls. Petal bowl, so it's ten dollars per. Hmm. Okay guys, here are these frogs again. I always, whenever I find one, I know just by sight this isn't the one I'm looking for, but my grandmother was I gotta say, a pretty talented hobbyist, and she had one of these frogs, and it was fantastically done. So I am always keeping my eye out to see if I can't find the one that she painted. I know that that, just by sight, that it wasn't the right one, but I was excited to see this smaller one. He's cute. I've never seen one in this size. I'm used to seeing them in this size, but the hunt shall continue. Ugh. You guys, uh, I decided to go ahead and get her. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Yes. Okay guys, so I did find some last minute things right here before we were picking out. I found this beautiful salt, salt cellar. Um, obviously you would put your salt in there, they would sit at your table, but it is a swan. The wings are articulated. I did find a hand-blown vase. This is from Israel. It is stamped 925. Obviously the glass is hand-blown and then it does have a silver overlay. However, the floral detailing that you are seeing, that is sterling silver and it has been applied to the glass vase itself. 
we did find some mercury glass picks here and I found some Bausch and Lomb. These are um, vintage with the case sunglasses. These are obviously for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up and we'll do our outro outside. See you in just a second. Whoa, that was amazing. All right guys, I gotta keep the outro short. The parking lot is getting full. Alice and I are on our way to our next destination. So stay tuned for that. Mother Tucker's amazing. You guys, it is always such a pleasure. It was such a pleasure to get to meet you guys today. Remember, I am going to be drop linking down below in the description Mother Tucker's Instagram page as well as Allison's. <laughs> and on that note, you guys, remember, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.